go. Come on. Yeah. The opposite, of course, is what used to be referred to as the combat challenge. It was something developed in the early 90s that was uh, uh, a means to check a firefighter's fitness level. Uh, it later became a competition. Now you can see it on TV as the uh, firefighter challenge. And it's an obstacle course uh, designed to uh, challenge upper body and lower body strength as well as aerobic capacity. It's teaching you, you don't, it's not just a one and done kind of thing. You get done with this, you're on to the next, you're on to the next, you're on to the next. And you just got to keep going until it's done. It's just, it's 90% mental. You start to think you're tired, you're going to get tired. That's just how it is. For us, it tests their anaerobic capacity, meaning in the first 10 minutes of a fire, you're running pretty much on your anaerobic energy system, which is more the muscle strength and muscle endurance for the first 10 minutes of a fire. You want to be able to enjoy what you're doing, and I ultimately would love to be a firefighter because I know I enjoy it, I love helping the people, and that's a big part of it. You know, kind of doing your civic duty, I guess, if you want to call that uh, a civil public worker, you know, and just helping the general public in any way you can. It's just, you get a lot of gratification out of that, so. I've never talked to a firefighter that's hated their job. Everyone else in some career, they don't like it, they get tired of it. Never talk to a fireman that says they hate doing it. It's a career I can see myself sticking with.